Hey everybody, it's Glider Cat and it is time to play. We're back in Outpost Engineer. And let's see, we have started to automate a few things. It's been a little time consuming as we don't have a lot of our construction materials automated yet. Let's just take a quick look and see what we've got. We've got automated power generation. So we've got a coal mine here that feeds a combustion generator. And then that's hooked up to our power network. Right now we're getting by with a single combustion generator. We could probably drop a torch down here. It's a little dark. Let's see about doing that. Boom. That'll help. Then what else have we got? We've got some more coal being routed over here, feeding another uh, a furnace this time. And that is our tin mine. So we're mining tin. We're loading our furnace here with coal to smelt the tin. The tin is then sent over here to a uh, constructor machine that's pounding it into tin plates. And then we're storing those currently in a copper box. Now these ones are not accumulating. And the reason they're not accumulating is we've got another uh, inserter right behind our constructor pulling out the tin plates as they're being constructed and feeding them into the molecular analyzer. And that guy is is uh, producing data cubes for us. It's really slow. It takes a lot of tin plates to get a data cube. And each data cube that gets manufactured, it takes many, many more plates for the next one. So, and then the data cubes are being placed in here. We've got one ready. We'll take that down with us. But last episode, we were talking about automating the belt production or conveyors. And we need these uh, tin plates, and then we need uh, copper coils or copper wire. We've got wire way down here. We routed some coal down here to a yet another uh, furnace next to a copper mine. So the ore is getting loaded into the furnace. We've got coal getting loaded in from behind to fuel the furnace. Then we've got another uh, constructor here that is building the wire copper cables, and those are being deposited here in this copper box. Now these copper cables and the tin plates are what we need to make conveyors. And I, we kind of went on the path of trying to automate some of the materials we will, we will need to uh, expand the factory. So we've also got, um, we've got stone, we've got rock, construction automated. So we're getting rocks built a little bit further down here. If we follow the power lines, there we go. That's where we're building rocks. And we've been using the rocks to um, just level out foundations for when we want to place belts or when we want to, to place a building and have it sit on a level surface. And we've got We've got a few extras, so let's go ahead and make this look a little better. And I think this will apply the texture. If we right click on one of these things, it'll let us pick a texture. So right now I have it set to this kind of cobblestone type look. And as I place them, it's gonna fill in cobblestone and we can kind of create some platforms that look a little bit, a little bit better than, uh, than having this choppy bumpy ground here. So that's what that's all about. So we've got those automated, but yeah, we now don't want to do the belts. So we got to get these copper cables all the way back over somewhere around here. Now it happens to be nighttime, which isn't great. We want to pair those up with these tin, with the tin plates over here. And we're probably going to have to stop doing the molecular analyzing of the tin plates because, uh, we're going to start using those for belts. So what we thought of doing kind of towards the last episode is, is just to keep this molecular analyzer going was uh, we noted that we've got plenty of tin ore, like more tin ore being mined than the plates even can consume right now with our limited production. So we thought about maybe putting an inserter down and some belts, another inserter, and then feeding the molecular analyzer just the raw tin ore and continuing on that way with our data cubes. I think that's the way we wanna go. We're gonna end up covering up some of the tin mine doing that, but that'll be temporary. We can always rip that up if we wanna get more uh, more tin mined over here. 
So let's do that. I'm actually going to place a couple blocks here since I've got them selected. We'll just have to remember that there is tin under here. So let's fill this up so it's nice and flat. And then let's see if I've got any inserters on me. I need to go make some inserters. Maybe that'll be the next thing that we automate after belts. All right, let's go grab a couple inserters. I need copper bars, and we've been doing some manual smelting here. Let's see, I've got one little <laughs> one little ore of copper, but I've got some bars in storage. I don't think we have... Let me grab some copper out of here real quick. Boom, just so we have some on us. I don't think we have any extra bars here. Let's see, this is making us the cable. And yeah, it is uh, consuming the uh, smelted copper as fast as we can get it. So I don't have a supply of copper bars out of here yet. It might make sense to make another copper line here just so we have a supply of copper bars. All right, let's see. Let's go ahead and make some of an inserter or two. And then we can pop that copper that we just harvested by hand into here. We need a solution for that. But maybe we'll tackle that when we automate the inserters. Right now we're focused on the conveyors. And while we're here, let's see. I've got plenty of copper cable on me and I've got a good number of plates. I'm going to make 20 more uh, conveyor belts. Let's head back up here. I'm going to grab another stack of tin plates. We are going to turn off. We're going to turn off this uh, inserter. I'm just going to take that guy back, rebuild our tin plate supply, and then let's do what we just talked about and route this... Uh, tin ore over to our molecular analyzer so we can keep the um, the data cube production going even though we're no longer going to analyze the uh, plates, the tin plates. All right. Rotate this guy like that. And then here, here, and one more. And then we'll drop our inserter down. Boom, boom, boom. And I think, yeah, we point to where we're taking from. Okay, so now our molecular analyzer, let's see now if it's gonna reset. Okay, it looks like it's switched over now to scanning the ore. And see, we're starting with a nice low number to get data cubes. So we're gonna get a, quite a few data cubes out of this early on, which is nice. So we just got one, let's go take that. We got two in here, we've got three all together. Let's go get these into our satellite dish. Where is our other analyzer? Have we gotten any more here? Nope. All right, let's go pop these in. Got no research points yet. We'll pop these data cubes in there and that'll at least get us going with three research points. I'm wishing it was daylight here. It would be a lot easier to route this stuff. We've got torches. Let's see what we can do to make our lives a little easier. All right, I'm looking for our plates. That's, they are right there. So let's pop a torch down here. And how do we want to route this? We're going to be coming quite a ways. I should fill that hole. Let's put a torch down here. We can at least take these up and move them later. I'm just going to go ahead and fill that hole with the, one of our stone blocks here, or our rocks, I guess is the correct term. There we go. Now, not perfect looking, but at least it's flat. Back to our torches. I need to make some more of these as well. How do we want to come down here? I'm going to use this as kind of a flashlight. I'll turn on the flashlight too, but holding one of these torches does a pretty good job. All right, we're gonna take those plates and instead of putting them in a copper box, we're gonna put them on a conveyor, kind of heading down this way. There's a nice kind of flat-ish surface here. And then we need to get that copper wire. Okay, 
Now, how are we going to get the copper wire up this hill? I guess we can... We'll have to see if we can hop over this conveyor belt. Why don't we try it? I'm going to drop this torch here. I'm going to pick up this old container and hopefully it gave me all the wire that was inside. I'm pretty sure it does. Yeah, it looks like we got plenty of wire now or coils. And let's see if we can put some belts down and go up. So maybe I need to put, we're going to experiment here. I'm going to put a stone block here or a rock here. And it's going to look funny. Just this is the nature of the voxel universe here. Now, are these ups or downs? Those are ups. Good. Now, can he place on that? That is helpful. All right. And now let's see about, boy, it'd be neat if I could go up one more, wouldn't it? I don't think I'm going to be able to. Are these the ups? Those are upwards. I got one left. I don't think, ooh. Check that out. Nice. Okay. Good, good, good. Let's grab our regular conveyors and see if we can place this guy one higher. And I don't know if this is going to want to snap on there or not. It's not looking great. Let's see if I can attach some rock over here, maybe. Maybe there. I'll make it look pretty later. Let's just see if we can get this going. All right, that may do it. That may do it. We are making progress. More rock. I want a rock. All right, there we go. And not too shabby. Not too pretty, but not too shabby. Let's see if we can uh, take that stuff out with uh, a miner and just make this look a little nicer. Or right, uh, let's see. I've got my... Pickaxe here. I'm going to pull this stuff out. Get my blocks back. I might even just mine some of this so it looks a little better. Because uh, these belts are kind of covered up right now. And there is a chisel in the game. We will maybe look at that a little bit later. There's a lot to this game. Now, I trapped myself underneath... I may need to take up the torch. Trapped myself. I don't think there's a crouch. So hopefully just getting this torch out of the way will let me out. Oh no, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I don't want to be stuck because I don't want to disassemble those belts. I'm tempted to disassemble these. Let's just try and see if this gives me some space. Uh, let's see. I'm just trying to work my way out of here. Let's take that off. Okay, that did it. I was able to get out. Nice, nice. Because I wanted to leave those, uh, I wanted to leave our little ramp in place here because that took some dirt to get it to place. All right, very good. Torch, please, here maybe. Whoops, watch me get myself stuck again. How about a torch here? And then let's think about where we want to do this. We're going to be assembling. We're going to be assembling um, belts or conveyors. Here's our copper coils. We're going to need the assembly machine this time, right? Let's take a look at our inventory. I don't think I built that yet. Nope. Let's go get it just so we can place things. I'm going to grab more copper here. I won't have to do this forever. <laughs> I say that every time I grab it. Uh, and we keep doing it. So, but there will be a time when we no longer have to do that. All right, let's see about building the, where is it? I think it's the assembler that we need. Right? Pieces together more complex parts out of two or three ingredients. And the conveyors only take two. So that'll do it. The constructors only work with one ingredient, so we can't do that. So let's see what we need. We need two constructors. Let's just build these. I think I've got 
what I need. We may need to craft more bronze soon. That may be another thing to automate. All right, I've got two constructors. I need one inserter. Not a lot of inserters. Let's craft a couple of those. I'm going to grab the copper bars out of here while we're doing it. All right, now can I do the assembler? Yes, I can. I think it just needs power. And we're going to need more inserters. So I've got, how am I doing on bronze gears? Did I just use the last one? I don't see any. Let's go craft some more of those. And then we're going to have to think about actually smelting iron in here. Because, well, we've still got 50 tin bars. Yeah, I meant uh, tin, not iron, sorry. Let's grab some more bronze gears. And what else can we get? Inserters. How many did we manage to get? We've got two. We're doing the gears now. I think that's going to allow us to get another. Maybe two. And then belts. We're doing okay on belts. Can I, what do we have? Tin and copper. Oh, I've got, let's grab more of those, right? Got plenty of that. All right, let's head back over to where we're working our belts here. And I think we want to put down that assembly machine. Let's try it. You can always move it. As we go, assembler, how about we drop it here? And boom, that's not too big. We're gonna want it near power. I'm not sure how many, I'll have to look and see on those power poles, how many connections they can have. We may have to divide some things up or run a couple more power poles. Looks like we can branch off of this one right here. All right, let's back up a little and rotate. And where can we put this? How about, right along right there that's fine and now let's get these copper routed let's get the copper coils set up over here in fact why don't we start from here with the belts okay, one back we'll leave room for the inserter back back there we go there might be a way to Place more of these down. I don't, I don't know yet what that way is. Okay, rotate. This is cool. If we get automated belts, that's gonna, that's gonna be nice. All right, inserters. We're doing good on these. Boom. Let's take a look at the power poles. I wanted to look in the inventory and see if I can get a description on here. Electric pole. Nope. And I think when we craft them, we get a description. I'm not sure how many connections they can have. I think we can safely pull one more off of here. Let's do it. We can always, again, rework this as we go. But let's get power to this guy. And now we're getting a little bit of daylight. That helps. We need to get that tin down so here is our tin we've got tons of it now we're gonna have room in my inventory looks like i do take that off we need to route that down here so what's the best way to do it let's we're gonna need to construct some more uh some more belts that are sloped the up and down ones let's go back to our main research or our main uh little manual factory grab more copper as I almost always do I'm gonna run up here and grab some coal too oops that's not what I want the coal is over here boom and boom we'll hop on down and smelt some more copper coal and copper Oh. All right. Yeah, we need more sloped belts. So let's grab 
I'm gonna grab 10 of each. Let's see. Okay, I've got 10 of each. I've got lots of copper cable and I've got lots of tin plates. I'm gonna grab like 30 more of these belts, even though we're about to automate them. We still need to run quite a few before they're automated. All right, we need to make our way down here. Let's see how far we can get with what we've got in our inventory so far. Boom, and then we gotta come down. So let's go in inventory and see which one is sloped down. I always forget, downward is that one. And we've got them, so let's do it. I think it's this guy, yep, boom. And now we wanna come Let's start making our way down here. So let's grab a regular conveyor and come in this direction. And we'll see if we can come down. Boom, not bad at all. And then, oh, where's our flat ones? Are we out of flat ones? Okay, we got more being constructed right now. Boom. And while they're being crafted, why don't we walk over this way and work our way back. From here, we know we're going to need an inserter, so let's pop that guy in like that. And then conveyors heading towards that assembly machine. Okay, we're waiting for crafting here. Let's grab some more. Some more of those queued up. Yeah, this will this will be nice. And then we can do maybe inserters. We've got a bunch of different ore to do yet, iron and the sand. I want to research the silica next once we get our uh once we get our next data cube thing or our research completed. Thinking the silica would be good. So that might get us closer to solar. I'm just guessing, but the solar power might be nice to not have to do as much uh, routing of coal belts. <laughs> it's a little more portable, I think. All right, here we go. We are almost, we've almost got this part done. And... Still crafting these, boom. Okay, these aren't the fastest belts, but we have got a little bit more automation here. We need to pick a recipe and then figure out where we want to dump these out. Probably out back, it looks like. So we've got another, um, got another grabber. <laughs> Inserter, I should call it. I'm playing like three or four different factory games right now, and they all they they all call them different things. <laughs> they all call these things different, different things. That's why I'm tripping over the name. All right, we've got a copper box. Let's go ahead and slap that down. That's going to be for our belts or our conveyors. So we just got to pick the recipe, I think, and wait for those tin bars to come. Let's do conveyors. Boom! That is going to be a big step forward. One less thing to manually have to create. I think, it, you know, it's not the cleanest factory yet, but we're just getting some basic, basic automation going, our basic building blocks. We're still hand delivering the data cubes. Hopefully we'll get to a point where we have so many data cubes coming that we want to do conveyors and set up a whole uh, better plan for that. But, ooh, look at that, eight data cubes. Wow. Okay, so this is, and it's just because we, uh, it's a brand new material that we are scanning. Wow, that's a May 8 is pretty darn good. That might take us to where we can look at the silica. Yeah, I think it's gonna, let's do it. Let's get those processed. 
Where are they? They're there. Boom. I think I can drag them all in. Nice. Yeah, here it is. Silica extraction. Gain knowledge on how to process sand and smelt it into silica shards. I'm just guessing that's what we need for solar. And I'm guessing there is solar because I see one down here talking about lithium and batteries. So I don't recall seeing lithium deposits, so I don't know where that's going to come from. We'll have to figure that out. Hopefully it will give us some clues. All right, we've got belts, we've got blocks. We've got uh, pin plates, but they're all going to be used for belts at this point. What's next? Kind of thinking inserters or at least some of the stuff that goes into making inserters. So we've got copper bars, and bronze gears. So bronze itself is, is a bit of a production chain. That's the tin ore, right? We got to mine tin ore, smelt that into tin bars. Then we got to mine copper ore and smelt that into copper bars. And then we got to smelt both of those together to get bronze bars. And then we got to hammer out bronze gears. So that's a fairly involved uh, production chain. But those gears are necessary if we ever want to uh, automate the inserters or have a quick way of doing it without pounding out gears by hand. So we're probably going to want to do that as well. Um, and now one of the challenges, at least in my mind, is thinking through, you know, to what extent do you prioritize um, just mining materials and pumping it into uh, molecular analyzers so you can get the data cubes going. Versus doing the stuff that we've been doing, which is automating for like the belt. So now we've got belts. I can just come and pick them up without having to go do a bunch of crafting. In fact, what I could do here, could, it would make might make sense to put the... Uh, Put another crafting table right next to here in case we do want to grab some and craft out the sloped ones or we could automate that as well we could start pulling i could pull some more belts onto a line and then maybe have that line feed um feed assemblers or even a constructor and have that constructor doing the sloped belts up and down we'll see for now we'll just live with this Let's see, what should we do next? Boy, there's a lot of different options here. Hmm. <laughs> we could, we're not doing coal, right? We're not analyzing coal. So right now we're analyzing raw tin ore and raw copper ore and the molecular analyzers and getting data cubes out of there. There was that one remote coal deposit way up here we could build a little platform run a power cable put down the molecular analyzer and just start mining coal and at least getting that going that's an option and just use this remote coal deposit for that just to feed a molecular analyzer and then come by every once in a while and fetch the data cubes this is interesting now what is this Ooh, this is new isn't it Okay, I think I heard about this. I think I remember seeing something about this. This growth is caused by pollution and it's a problem. And I'm not sure <laughs> there is. I'm going to mine it away right now. I forgot all about this. So this is another aspect of the game. I know very little about it, but I remember seeing something in a developer, one of the developers videos about having a uh, pollution caused, uh, caused, I guess it's this stuff, this substance that appears and kind of starts clogging up your factory. So right now I'm going to mine it and see what happens. Ooh, what is in there? Oh, it's around my torch. Okay. So I think there is a way to abate this. <laughs> oh, this is cool. <laughs> I forgot all about this. All right. All right. Yeah, I just remember seeing a video where he was uh, experimenting with this stuff. And I think there is a machine that we can research that will 
blast this stuff out automatically. But I don't know for sure. I don't know. It's a game that's in development, and I just saw a snippet of a video that had this pollution stuff accumulating, and it didn't say how you get rid of it, I don't think. Now, hopefully, I'm getting through this. There is a lot here. I don't know if you guys saw it accumulating in the background, but I didn't notice it till it was a great big hill. Uh, let's see if we can get these little pieces. All right. So yeah, this is something we need a solution for because uh, we don't want to do this manual digging. That is a nuisance. So it's being caused by pollution. I don't know if solar power is going to cause pollution. But we've got a tiny, tiny factory, and this is already <laughs> this is already a problem. So with a tiny factory, if this is a problem, we need to think up a solution probably sooner than later, as because as we grow the factory, uh, I imagine we're going to have more and more problem with that. Oh, what is this thing? I thought it was a torch. It's not. It's a uh, what is it? A creep bulb, a fungal fruiting body. Pollution stimulates aggressive fungal growth. Let's see if I can take this out. Okay, I was able to get rid of it. Yeah, I, I thought that was uh, surrounding a torch. I was wrong. That was a whole different structure. Okay. Well, we managed to cut that one out. But boy, that's not cool. All right, that's something we're going to have to deal with. Let's, uh, let me fill this hole here while I see it and just make this look a tiny bit better. Boom, and boom, and boom. It's not perfect. Not looking to make it perfectly level just yet. Uh, I may fill in this though. This looks pretty not so great. Boom, 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 boom. And again, there is a chisel that you can uh, shape. I think you can shape the rock a little bit better. All right, that looks a little better. Now it's sitting on a platform. I'm glad we automated the rocks because uh, that's going to help make things look quite a bit better. So yeah, geez, now we've got to worry about that fungal growth. I don't know how often that's going to creep up. I'm guessing it's just going to be near our factory here or where we're spewing out the pollution. But that was a bit of a surprise. All right, what's next? Do we want to try and tackle the bronze? Whoops, looks like we're almost out of time here. I think we are out of time. Let's wrap this episode here. We kind of continued our little string here of automating something every episode. We managed to get our conveyor belts automated. That's one less thing that we got to do manually, and that helps. But there's still plenty of things we do have to do manually. I'm noticing that our plates are coming down kind of slow here. So maybe next episode we'll check into that and see if that's a problem. It looks like it's going as fast as it can, given one's one uh, furnace. It's got all the coal it needs. But yeah, let's wrap this episode here. If you like the content, please do give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think of the game in the comments. Again, this is not reflective of the final game, but boy, it sure gives you a flavor. And uh, the further we play, the more complexity we're finding in the game. Most recently, that fungal growth that is caused by pollution. So I think there's going to be a solution for that uh, as we play on, but I don't know exactly what it is or when we're going to find it. So for now, I'll wrap this episode up. This is Glider Cat signing off saying I will see you in the next one.